This project is about everyday heroes. I'm one of five guys on the fire department in the city of New York that is the ceremonial unit among uh, full-time training at the fire academy. This project is for the fallen heroes who put themselves in harm's way. What happens is we're responsible for doing all the line of duty funerals also. So on Father's Day, if you remember, before 9-11, uh, we had lost three firefighters in the building collapse. We did the three funerals. At that time, the third funeral we did made number 17 of number that I knew that were killed in the line of duty since I've been on the job. 17 friends I knew on a first name basis. Then the unthinkable happened. 9-11 occurred, at which time I lost 47 more friends that I knew on a first name basis. The record we had done was 22 funerals in one day. But what we basically did was uh, seven days a week for approximately five months straight. What it actually boiled down to was I had the honor, and I do call it an honor, of ringing the ceremonial bell of commonly known the four fives, signaling the end of the alarm. I wanted to do something more. You always want to do more. But what could anyone do? Oh, they're phenomenal. They're great. I was a bit mesmerized by it. I liked it. I was talking with Barbara Hirsch, who's a fashion designer in New York, and uh, we were talking about things that might be done to, uh, to help with the tragedy of 9-11. And it, as it turns out, Barbara's boyfriend in New York is a fire, fireman. And uh, we had the mutual inspiration to get a licensing rights to the uh, famous uh, World Trade Center picture with the three firemen raising the flag, which represents uh, a, a sense of heroes and freedom to us all. Uh, as it turns out, the, uh, the idea of being of help or providing assistance for a worthy cause kind of grew like um, Topsy. It just kept going and going and going, and we've had to learn how to manufacture things and how to, how to ship things and how to collect things and how to size things and how to do things we never dreamed we'd have to do at all just to uh, try to raise some funds for, uh, for a worthy cause. So. Heroes Jacket was formed as a nonprofit corporation dedicated to manufacturing and marketing this dignified line of jackets. All net profits from our sales are given directly to the Bravest Fund and the North Jersey Media Group. These charities are dedicated to benefiting members of the FDNY, NYPD, EMS, and Port Authority Police that suffer career ending injuries or death, including those affected by the terrorist attacks on 911, not covered by existing benefit programs. It's a very good cause because there are families that are in need. Prime example, we lost 343 firefighters there. There's over 880 kids that don't have a father right now just from the firefighters. We have to help them. They're suffering a lot more than us. Firefighters and the people in emergency service that have been by that we've talked to really love the, what we're doing. They love the um, spirit of our booth and uh, the spirit of our product. and what it represents. This jacket covers it um, entirely, okay? It covers the whole category, the topic, or, or the mixture of professionalism and a human side, okay? It, again, it's, it's remembrance of the guys that were lost. It's also remembrance of how America started to band together when this did happen. To me, when I saw it on the back of the jacket, I was more moved by it because it it's kind of like your back is what you never see, but it's how you really feel. It's kind of like this is always going to back me up. It would be nice if all the firefighters could have I was going to buy it for my husband, who's a fire chief. You can't put a price tag on it. I've seen everything from, like you say, golf balls to um, all sorts of umbrellas to, you know, hair combs with that photo or the Twin Towers or, and, and where does it stop? Then I saw the jacket, and I went, oh. And it took me going up and touching it and looking at the process and seeing the subtleness of it is what I really liked. I want one. <laughs> and where did you get it? That's what I'd want to know. This as far as the jacket with the picture, it means more than just the picture on the back of the jacket. There's a lot of emotion and there's a lot of feelings and a lot of we got to move on, but let's do it right, and let's remember where we came from. For further information, 
visit our website at www.heroesjacket.com.